what is hatching in Toga Peeps. And we are back inside the building that we can run in. So hurrah! And we're gonna come back down here and whoop on some more Team Rocket A-hole. So we're on floor 8. Oh, we already beat this guy. Uh, we already beat that guy. F, it's been too long since I played this. I don't remember where I have and haven't been. I don't think we played this guy yet. This Pokemon are just to be used. What will happen if time? I don't know what will happen. We'll all cry. Let's probably come up here see what this guy is. I don't think we fought that guy yet. Nope. Sure didn't. That's as far as you go. Okay. So, uh, Team Rocket Grunt's gonna battle. He's got Redgate. And we have Swag at the front of the party. So we're not scared. Because Razor Leaf probably just this thing. And not quite a one-hit KO. And he's gonna hit us with the Scary Face, which is going to lower our speed. He's gonna go for a Tail Whip instead of an attack because he's an idiot. And we're just gonna finish him off with a cut. So that Raticate goes down. Our speed is like abysmal, not that it isn't normally. But now we're at negative two speed and negative one defense. He's gonna send a gold bat. We're gonna switch out anyways. Uh we're gonna send out Miley. And he's gonna give him a gold bat, and we're gonna hit this one with a rock slide. And we miss. That sucks so bad. He's gonna astonish us, which really isn't gonna do much, because astonish I think is like 20 power. Rockslide just gonna take the face clean off that Golbat. So Golbat goes down. Miley gets a lovely bit of experience. Goes to level 35. I'm trying to learn Cross Trap, which is awesome. And how many PP? Oh, Cross Trap only has five PP. That's not good. So we'll get rid of Low Kick. Because at this point in the game, low kick really isn't as good as cross chop. So, we now have cross chop, which is excellent. And Team Rock is going to go into Arbok, and we are going to switch. And we're going to go into the Magnitude. And Magnitude is going to Magnitude this thing. And hopefully, we will get enough experience to get to level 33. Magnitude 9. Taking some ace. So we have magnitude 9, super duper effective. Arbok goes down super hard. Going to level 35, magnitude like a boss. And he's gonna switch in coughing, and we will switch out here. And we're gonna. Uh, we're going to swag. Because swag can't be poisoned. And that's good. Swat comes coughing. We might be able to one-shot it with Razor Leaf. Ooh, not quite. That's okay, though. He's gonna tackle us. He's gonna do nothing. Or is he gonna finish off with the Razor Leaf? But ka -chow. And Coffin goes down. Super duper easy. And we defeat Team Rocket Grunt. Not enough grit. Yes, sir. You need more grit. And, um... I think that's everything we can do right there. So we're gonna go down the stairs. Because I'm sure there's a bunch we missed here. We'll talk to this guy. And he's one of the four Rocket Brothers. So we fought... This will be the second one we fought. Hopefully this one's better than the last one. Because the last one was Terabizzle. And he's gonna uh, whip out his Q boner. And we've got our swag. Putting his boner to shame. And uh, Razor Leaf's gonna be a one shot. So Cubone goes down. Swag. Not much experience. Gonna send out another Cubone. And we're just gonna stay in. Cause Swag could use the experience. Gonna go for the Razor Leaf again. Just gonna destroy this Cubone. I don't know why he, sh uh, he isn't using Marowax. He might stand a chance if he was using Marowak. Cause Marowak is a boss. But nope. Just two Cubones. And he cries to his brothers. Which is sad. So, um, another guy up here. He smells a little mouse. That's unfortunate. So, anyways, 
Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. He's going to send out Raticate. Not worried about Eradicate. I'm just going to raise Relief it. Probably take two. Yeah, not going to be enough to take it down. It's going to Hyper Fangus, which is not good, but wow, that didn't do anything. I'm going to finish it off with a cut. Eradicate goes down. So good night, Eradicate. And he's going to switch into Zubat. We will switch here. And who needs it? We'll go into RTS. RTS should be able to just walk all over this thing's face. Even though he's going to get pissed for experience. Out comes Zubat. We're going to go for the fly. Because the animation is awesome. Gonna miss a supersonic. And we're going to hit it with the fly. And we fly it into no eyed face. And RTS gets Fistboard experience. And he's going to switch into Golbat. We will leave in RTS because if I'm not mistaken, Golbats have higher special defense and regular defense. Goes for the supersonic, is gonna miss because we're flying. We're gonna hit it with a fly, which will probably take it out. Ooh, not quite enough to take it out. And he is gonna hit us with a supersonic this time, which makes me sad. Because I don't want to be confused. So we're just gonna hit the pursuit because we don't want to be confused for two turns and doing crap like that. And we are gonna hit the pursuit. Which is awesome. Get a crit, didn't matter. It only had like two hit points anyways. Plus we had five of the folks to take it. So he's going to switch into Rattata, and we're just going to switch because, once again, we are confused. And I don't want any of that gay hack shit going on. So, ah, we're going to go into Malay. And even though it's overkill, we are going to use a cross chop on this thing just because the animation is awesome. And it's a critical hit, which means it did about a million percent damage. Rattata goes down. Malay, 316, Jesus sent it up. And, yep, lights out. Sucks to be you, brother. You won't find my boss just screwing around. Oh, thanks. Oh, look, there's Douche. I forgot we see him here. Now, what's back here? Uh, hey, here's a guy. Is this a keycard guy? Hee hee hee, mistaking for a soul parker. Not really. But, ah, we get a scientist. Joshua would like to battle. So Joshua is going to send out an electrode. And we're just going to go straight away for the Razor Leaf. Because I don't think it's going to be worth it setting up a Leech Seed. Yeah, it wouldn't have been. He's going to Sonic Boom us. That's only going to do 20 damage, which doesn't matter. It would have taken two shots to take it down anyways. So electrode goes down. Swag gets a nice chunk of experience off of that. He's going to send out Muck, and we will switch. We're going to go out into the Magnitude. And Magnitude... Being a boss... Going to go for the Magnitude. Get Magnitude 5, which is pathetic. And that'll probably do about half. Or not even that much. Wow. He's going to disable us. Thank God it missed. Get magnitude again. We definitely need a higher this time. Magnitude 7. Probably be enough to take it down. Because... Uh... Magnitude's power does go up exponentially as the numbers go up. So, Muck fainted. Magnitude gets a nice chunk of experience here. We defeat uh, Scientist Joshua. And he's done. So, we found a Calcium. And Calcium is awesome. Calcium, I believe, is Special Attack. Wait, what did he... Yep, Special Attack. Thought it said Special Defense there for a second. I was thinking, no! That is not what we want. So, uh... We're going to give it to uh, Swag, because Swag has Razor Leaf, and Razor Leaf is a special move, because all grass moves are special in this generation. So, uh... We need to find the guy with the key card. Where the hell is he at? So we come down here, talk to this guy, and he's another one of the four Team Rocket Brothers, so this is the third Team Rocket Brother we fought now. And these guys get progressively crappier as we go. So he's got a Machop. <coughs> and Swag owns Machops for breakfast. Yeah, he owns them for breakfast. I don't know why I said that. It made sense to me in my head. You know how that works sometimes? You say something makes sense to you, and everybody else is like, What the fuck did you just say? So yeah, I said he, I own him, bitch. But yeah. So we're going to go to RTS because Machoke is coming out here and super effective fly move is super effective. 
with this super full, super cool camouflage ball. I don't know why they stopped letting you uh, throw camouflage balls in the game, because camouflage ball is just so awesome. But then again, I am from Western Pennsylvania where camouflage is everywhere, so I'm just accustomed to it. Well, that didn't give us very much experience compared to what I thought it would. But Doduo bossing it up. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Idiot. So let's talk to these people. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Shut up. He's such a coward. He sure is. Fucking pussy. They must have targeted. Oh no, you have Pokemon products? Team Rocket is trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. Oh no. The Rockets came and took over the building. Oh no. And here's another Rocket douche. And you dare betray Team Rocket? I was never a member of Team Rocket, asshole. How am I betraying you? But anyways, just another stupid Team Rocket member. We're gonna send out a Zubat, and Zubat sucks my balls. Just like a Butterfree. So we're gonna go for the cut here. And that does a huge amount. And he's gonna confuse us, which makes me sad. We are gonna get the cutoff though, which is excellent. So Zubat goes down, we're gonna get like 10 experience for that. He's gonna send another Zubat, we are gonna switch. Just because I don't want to spend all day poning Zubats with that. So, we're going to go to RTS, because RTS needs a little bit of experience. Oh, no, no, not that. So, we're going to go for Rage. And that did more than I thought it would. He's going to wing attack us. And our Rage is building. We're going to hit it again. We're going to do good damage. Guy is going to send out Golbat. And we'll just stay in because we are going to be hitting him with a uh, hit once rage. So we're going to rage and. Blah, 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 blah. Not not quite enough to take it out. Gonna go for Confuse Ray. Makes me sad. I'm going to go for the rage, anyways. And we're going to hit. Awesome. So he's going to bite us. And that sucks. So our rage is building. We're still confused. We'll probably hit ourselves this time because we have power built in rage. Oh, no, we won't. And, oh, super awesomeness. RTS, lots of experience there. And we're a traitor. Shut the fuck up. You're moron. So, ah, no. God. I hate those things. So, um... We still need the card key. And here's another guy. That rotten president serves him right for shipping me off to Tixie Branch? That's why Team Rocket came after us, I'm sure of it. What what is Tixie? Is that like a Japanese city or something? Tixki. But anyway, Scientist Taylor has a Voltorb. And we're not scared of that because we have our swag out. We're gonna go for Razor Leaf. And that might be enough to take this thing down. Yes, it is. Awesome. Some Voltorb goes down. Spy gets lots of experience. And Science Taylor's going to send in coughing, and we're just going to stay in and take it. So we're going to go for the Razor Leaf. Might not be enough to one-hit KO, but probably will. Yep. Ooh, we got a crit. Awesome. For Razor Leaf having a high critical hit ratio, we don't crit with it that often compared to our other moves. Oh, well. We're just going to stay in. Keep Razor Leaf in a way... Because Swag is a boss. And Razor Leaf. Another critical hit. Wow, I say we don't get critical hits, and then we get back-to-back -back ones. Awesome. It's a game voodoo. It's going to send a Magnuson. We will switch out here. And we're going to go into Miley. Because Miley can hit this with a super effective fighting move. So, Magneton! And... We'll drop the cross chop on it. It's gonna hit and just astrolish it. So, super effectiveness. Poor Magneton had to get shitty steel type with it. So, you send out Magnemite. His last Pokemon, we're just gonna stay in it and we are going to. Ah, uh, crotch chop this bad boy in the face. Right in this little eye thing. So, Magnemite goes down. We defeat Scientist Taylor. Which is awesome. Let me get some money for winning. 
And uh I'm not sure, but I think that pad takes us to Gary. I don't remember. Or not Gary, Nick the douche. And here's this guy. Uh show team mark a little respect. I don't think so, buddy. You guys suck way too much for that. So I'll come see Rocket Grunt. He's gonna send it to Hypno. And that's not good because we have swag out. So we're gonna switch our Pokemons. And we're We're going to Jax. Jax can take this in. So Hypno's gonna go for the confusion. And we're not worried about it. We're gonna go for the return. Hopefully take it out. Super punch its face. Not quite enough. It's gonna meditate, raise its attack, but it won't matter because our next return will take it out. Now we're gonna return and just destroy it. So there we go. So it has been destroyed. It goes down. We beat a team rocket grunt. He only had one Pokemon. That's sad. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. So, uh... Here's this guy. And, uh, Child Intruder, it must be us. And let's see what Pokemon he has. Probably nothing good. Uh, he would like to battle. He's got a Sand Troop. You know, like I said, nothing good. And... We're just gonna go for the Razor Leaf. I'm hard with that. Take down Sand True. Poor Sand True. That's who was such a shitty trainer. He's going to Sand Slash. We're just going to stay it anyways. So I don't think he has anything to hit us. So we're going to go for the Razor Leaf again. And Sand Slash goes down to a crit. Probably didn't matter. And Swag gets a nice chunk of experience off of that one. Which is awesome. So we defeat uh, Team Rocket Grunt again. So, uh, nothing else to do in here. Here's, uh, this guy. What? There shouldn't be any children in here. Okay. If you say so, pal. And there's a juggler. Juggler Dalton would like to battle. He's got a Cadabra. And that's not good against a swag. We'll stay. We might be faster, and we are. We're gonna raise leaf it to the face, and that should one hit KO easily. And it doesn't. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, we're gonna go for cut. That could ever must be bulky. Jeez. So, is he gonna go into Mr. Mime? We will switch this time. And we do not have a ghost type attack on this team, which makes me sad. We miss Shadow Ball somewhere or something? But anyways, RTS does have Pursuit, which is super effective even though it's only 70 or 60 base damage, I think. It's Mr. Mime, though. We're gonna Pursuit it. It is gonna be Dark Titan. Wow. Just freaking wow. He's gonna Encore us, which really doesn't matter. So we're just gonna continue to Pursuit it anyways. Looks like it'll be a 4-hit KO. It's gonna side beam us. Not really worried. Wow. Uh, what's he gonna do this turn? Gonna go for magical leaf? Really? We're gonna resist that. Critical hit. You hacker. Doesn't matter. We're gonna take him out with his pursuit. RTS gonna get another level, and that Mr. Mum goes down hard. So level 36. Awesome possum. We defeat Juggler Dalton. And I think we're going to spread around a potion or two right now. Just for funsies. So, uh... Ooh, lemonade. We got lemonade still. I guess RTS is the only one that really needs it right now. So RTS gets lemonade. Gets all his healths back. And I think that's all we need at the moment. So no item down here. Uh... Another telepad. Are we, are we gonna fight this guy? Yep. We study Pokeball technology. Maybe we'll find a Pokeball here then. Scientist Bo would like to battle. 
He's gonna start out with a Magneton. And that's not good against Swag because Swag doesn't have anything to hit it. So we're gonna go out into the Miley. And it's gonna spark us, but Miley's not scared of that spark. Luckily, uh, no para hacks. And Karate Chop's gonna take it down. No problem at all. And they split the experience. Another Magnemite gonna come out, not worried about it. We're gonna take this Magnemite down. One, two, three. Karate Chop, easy. So, Magnemite goes down. And Miley gets a nice little bit of experience. And Bo's gonna send in coughing, which he should have done in the first place. And we're gonna send an RTS just for the experience. And I think I just realized why Pursuit wasn't doing much to that. Um, Mr. Mime, I'm pretty sure dark attacks are special attack. <coughs> Goodness sake, excuse me. I believe dark attacks are special in this game. I was not thinking about that until just now. So uh, we are going to switch out. Because I'm not, I don't want to try and take on a Weezing. <coughs> so we're going to send up Majora. Majora just gives the psychic the crap out of this thing. So psychic crap out. And Weezing's gone. So, uh, Weezing bites dust. And Majora gets a nice little bit of experience. Beat Scientist Bow. Yep, blast it. Whatever you say, dude. And oh, another Team Rocket douche guy. I heard a kid was wandering around. Who told you that? So, uh, Team Rocket Grump would like to battle, and he's gonna set up an Arbok. Which again, really doesn't scare me very much. He's gonna get the Intimidate off, though. So we're gonna go for Razor Leaf. And we're gonna miss. He's gonna Poison Sting us. Neutral damage, but he can't poison us, so uh, not really much he can do here. Wow, I thought that would do a little bit more. He's gonna Glare us, which is gonna paralyze us, which really friggin' sucks. But, I think we're gonna set up Late Seed here, just because it's fun. He's gonna Screech us, which is gonna ma put us at negative two defense, or minus two defense. Oh, of course, Leech Seed is going to freaking miss, since we're poisoned, and he's going to paraflinch us. What a faggot. So, we're going to set up our Leech Seed just to get some health back, because we're going to need it. And that's going to be uh, continuous damage on the Arbok. So, uh, I'm going to go for the Sleep Powder next, just to continue to hack this thing. And uh, we're at negative four defense right now, and of course, our Sleep Powder misses. God! Piss me off. So, uh, we are now at negative six defense. And we're paralyzed. Good lord. What a shitty freaking battle. This guy has one Pokemon and we can't take the fucking thing out. So, we're gonna switch into Majora. Because <coughs> I do not want to take a negative six anything. Oh, of course, he goes for a bite. That's critical hit, super effective. Fuck you. And our rock is gonna go down to the psychic. Well, actually, we're gonna hit it with the, the shock wave and save the PP for psychic. So go screw yourself, Arbok. God, that thing pissed me off. So we defeat Team Rocket Grunt, and he's Pooper Scooper. And we're gonna reach into our bag, give a lemonade. To Majora. And a uh, full heal. To Swag. So there we go. And we're gonna um, come over here. I don't know if we've been down here yet. So we'll fight this guy. And we want to go back to that teleporter because I believe there's an item back there that we can't get to because the guy blocks but we, we can get it on and off the teleporter to get to it so uh... scientist ed i think that said 
Must have his ass kicked. So he's fighting us in Pokemon. So, yep. So I guess my screen. Yep, Scientist Ed's gonna send in coughing. We will switch. Because the PP on our. On our. Uh, Rage Leaf's getting a little bit low. We should probably rearrange our Pokemon a little bit. So we get uh, some of them with some more. Oh, that isn't what I wanted to do. Uh, not paying attention. He's going go for smoke screen, which is awesome. Lowering our accuracy. That's always good, though. So we're going to go for strength. And we're going to miss. He's probably going to miss another smoke screen. Oh, awesome. <sighs> I'm going to go for another strength. We're going to hit it this time. That's good. And it isn't going to be enough to take it in. He's going to miss with a sludge. And we're going to go for strength again. It's going to miss. Gonna hit us with another sludge. And we're gonna hit with strength this time. Yes. Good lord. So, uh, Miley gets a nice bit of experience. Gonna send a magneton. We should have switched out because we're at negative two accuracy. Well, hopefully, cross chop hits. Or karate chop. And it does. That'll be a one hit KO. Because super effective in junk. You know. So, Miley, level 36. Excellent. We need to be scientist Ed. Yep, I hammered you because it's hammer time. And uh, just gonna drop another lemonade, but on Miley this time, and Miley likes lemonade. So Miley gets some nice experience there. And we're gonna rearrange our Pokemon real quick. So Miley or so uh, Swag doesn't get all the experiences, and we aren't leveling up. Magnitude, because I don't think he's going to be on the team very much longer. Sorry, guys, for the spoiler, but... Damn it. Well, he's one of the four Team Rocket Brothers, and this is the fourth one! So after this, we have defeated all of the Rocket Brothers. Team Rocket would like to battle. <coughs> we can send out a Gold Bat. Not afraid of that. Because we have Miley, and Miley has Rock Slide. So Miley's just going to Rock Slide the crap out of this thing. And Gold Bat goes down. Goodbye, Gold Bat. You suck. So Golbat goes down. Miley gets a nice chunk of experience off that Golbat. It's gonna send him Drowsy. And we're gonna stay in. Because I'm not scared of Drowsy. And uh, we're gonna just go for the strength here. Because it don't do a nice bit of damage. And it's gonna win a KM. It's just awesome. So Miley. Another little chunk of experience. It's gonna send in Hypno. And we'll stay in. Just because I'm not scared. Miley eats Hypnos for breakfast. I'm gonna go for strength. Uh, does way over half. Gonna disable us, which is bad. So we're just gonna have to rock slide it. We're gonna go for the rock slide, and that should definitely be enough to KO. And it is. So Hypno goes down. Miley's gonna get a good chunk of experience off of that. And we defeated the fourth Team Rocket brother. So, um... My brothers will avenge me. Where the hell is this fucking keycard at? Oh, I wonder if this is a keycard we get at the very end. Or if that's the item I'm thinking I'm going to be getting here. I don't remember. So let's come down here. La 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 la. Oh, we found the card key. Awesome. Nothing's better than a card key. Oh, F. Run, run, run. Go, go, go. We're almost out of time. And we have so many rooms to explore still. So go, go. So we have the key card. And we're just going to hit the button here. Yay, the door opened. And here's an item. Ooh, focus punch. Yippee. And we're gonna come back up here, open this door up. <coughs> Get this, we found a protein. Proteins are good. And we have the protein to one of our attackers. Because protein raises attack. We can give that to RTS. RTS needs it. He needs his fix. So, um, yeah, we're gonna come up here talk to this guy, see if he's a battler. He isn't. Those slugs occurred when the boss was looking for a strong Pokemon. I hope the president managed to avoid trouble. I hope he did too. So, um, we're gonna come down here. We're, uh, we're actually gonna go all the way back down to the bottom. Well, not the bottom, we're gonna start on floor two. 
We're gonna uh, unlock all these doors we couldn't get into before. Okay, the door. Yeah, the door's open. And this girl gives you something, I think. Uh, I don't know if anyone Pokemon can learn Thunder Wave. Ooh, I guess so. Majora needs a fourth move. There we go. Thanks, babe. You're a peach. So let's come down here. Uh, use card key. Oh, damn it. Why do I keep doing that? So here's a scientist. Help, I'm a, a self-employee, but not really. So we're going to have to beat this guy up. Scientist Connor. He's going to start with Grimer. And Grimer's going to fall hard to the strength. <clears throat> and after this battle, we're going to run out of the building, heal up our Pokemon, come back, and in the next video, we will be finishing up the Silphco building. So he's going to win Weezing. We will switch. Go into Majora. And that will be that. So Scientist Connor is going to send out Weezing. We're just going to Psychic it. Finish it off. So Weezing goes down. Not scared of Weezing. Scientist Connor is going to go to coughing. We're just going to stay in. Psychic it again. Because we're not scared. Psychic. Taking it down. So that coffin bites the dust. And I'm gonna go to Weezing. We're just gonna stay in. And Psychic again! Cause Psychic is a beast! And that's probably gonna put us right close to 30 minutes. I actually had to record this uh, video in two separate segments. Because I had to stop in the middle of the video. So it may be a little chopped up in the middle, so if that is the case I apologize. So alright guys, we are gonna run back to the Pokemon Center quick quick. So go, 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 go. But yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching this episode of Tup's Let's Play Fire Red. This will probably be uh, episode 36-ish. So oh look, here's the self building. And uh, yeah, we're going to heal up our Pokemon. Like I said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to this video. Give this a giant thumbs up and like. The like button makes me want to upload more and not take the weekends off. So the more likes we get, the more videos you'll get over the weekend. So you got something to keep you busy because everybody knows that Saturday morning cartoons suck huge, giant donkey balls now. But anyways, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. As always, this has been Too Perious. And uh, we're going to go back to the third floor because we don't have all the doors cleared here. So alright guys, thanks again. Catch on the flip side. Peace out.